Okay, so I think I'm going to try the the stay putnik again and see if we can do a repeat of that experiment. Uh, two experiments. This equipment, the experiment consists of generating ten units of data while in Kerbin's atmosphere. This is, I'm just reading the description here. Let me see if it's a repeatable experiment. I don't know. Because I can't see how we c could get through this tech tree very easily unless it was. So uh, let's try a repeat launch of the Skylark, the original Skylark. Actually, why don't we try the Skylark with some modifications? We don't need these rockets that are constant thrust. We can replace it with this now. Okay, but we need to change the fuel. Right. And now that we have that, we can actually add another stage because we now have these separators. So let's have another stage. And we'll have that stage be one with, uh, how, how, what sort of stats we have here? That's not too bad, is it? Let's say we have a stage with four of these. MMH N204, okay. And let me just temporarily, oh, we can't temporarily connect it. Okay, so let's have MechJeb, just one. Okay, um, that's not a problem. Uh, this is not the launch stage, so it's sea level thrust being less than one is not a problem. Yeah. Let me get these rockets out of the way, though. Maybe, maybe six of them would be better. Yeah. Okay, now, um, decoupler. And then one of the conic tanks to smooth things out between the two stages. So you use Y to shape it, shape the top of it. R to reduce the size of it. And there we have it. We can dump the spare mech jeb. We still need to maintain communication after uh, after decoupling. So let's make sure that this antenna gets back up there. And we need to replace the fuel in this these tanks with uh, the... Oh, okay, this one was right. And why isn't it? Oh, because of staging. All right, but we need to put fuel in this one. Okay, so what we need is... Oh, I guess we need a new stage in the middle. Let's put the one on the bottom, that there, these six here. Okay. Cooking with charcoal now. Hmm. We're getting perilously close to uh, to the kind of delta v we need for orbit. But let's try this for now, and then when it comes time to, we'll we'll add another stage in order to do an orbital one. But let's try this for now because I want to test where we can do those atmospheric readings again. So this will be Skylark three. Have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. Alright, let's go out to the launch pad. Alright, uh, another night launch. SAS is on. Throttle up. Uh, launch tower in the right stage. Yes, very important. And so this is just a test to see whether the atmospheric data situation is repeatable. But of course we're uh, attempting to attain new heights. All right, let's go.
So, uh, just in case you don't know, the, because Kerbin is reshaped as Earth, we have to go with Earth's Delta V to get into orbit. And the Delta V to get into orbit around Earth is roughly 9,500 meters per second. You can get away with 9,300 in certain situations uh, if you're, for some reason, not going with the rotation of the Earth. You might need more like 9,700 uh, or more, depending on the situation. But, but yeah, 9,500 is the ballpark figure that should be planned for. So we're still well away from that. Let's see. We're flying high. Now can we do another reading? No we can't. Okay. And we can't do one of those either. Alright, so no point uh, doing that at all. But perhaps we can get a few more points for getting into the... into space. I don't think we can get high into I mean, high high above Earth slash Kerbin would have to be a very long ways. And if we do that, we're not going to be able to come back down. It'll uh, destroy itself on re-entry. So, that's not a good thing. But I guess we can go as high as this stage can allow us to. Okay, let's uh, leave that stage behind. And this will be our re-entry stage to slow us down. Oh, oh, oh. These don't have gimbling. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh, shut off. Okay, well, uh, and they're not heavy enough to keep it righted. Come on, go around, go around. Ah, uh, the parachutes, it's not good. have a fire. Okay, well you still got two parachutes. Probably didn't handle that very well, but all right. Let's uh, let the parachutes out now. SAS off. Not sure we're gonna get any science out of this, and the parachutes are sort of in a weird place. This is now very heavy, though. Uh, let's let's burn some more fuel. Okay, we have parachute deployment, though we are coming down pretty fast because it's still pretty heavy and we've only got two chutes. Let's soften it a little bit. Plop. 
Alright, let's recover Vessel and hope we got some points out of this. 1.3. Well, what can I do? Alright, well that's not enough to unlock any more science. I think we need to get into orbit. I think we need to go Sputnik on this thing. So let's go to the VAB and try that out. Okay, well if we're gonna go into orbit, we won't use the Skylark 3. We'll go back to the Skylark 2 as the model. And we're going to add more stages. So... What kind of stages should we add? Well, I think the... The stage we had on the other one seemed like a good idea. It's not a bad idea. Um, but we don't need... Oops, that's not a good idea. Well, I guess 0. 0.625 all the way isn't a bad, I bad thing. Maybe that will work. Okay, do we have 0. 0.625 decouplers? Okay, Let's, this one is good too, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's fine. This already has mech jeb in. Let's move the parachutes up. I don't want things to be tilting around in a weird way. Okay, let's fill this tank with what it needs to have. Remove all tanks. And MMH. Okay, so that's gonna have plenty of Delta V there. These rockets sticking out, will they overheat? Hmm. And then the parachutes are there. Well, th those should be shielded. Actually, let's shield them with the rockets. The rockets are more likely to be able to deal with heat. How much heat can they deal with? 1,800, so that's good. They were fine on re-entry on the last one. Alright, what else can we have? Perhaps just two stages of these Rocket Max ones? Might be a fair idea. Or we could go with these. They're not good in the atmosphere. Well, they're not throttleable though. That's a huge downside. So I think I'm gonna go with two stages of these Rocket Max ones. Obviously, we need the controller at the top. Oh, I just dumped it. And uh, we probably want a longer range one. Which will probably snap off on contact with anything, but let's see. We can do. Where is it? Uh, huh. Tilt it up this way. Uh, well, it's not the worst thing. That's a bit too flush to the thing. Alright, that's fine. I should action group that. Okay, so that's the omnidirectional one. We might need some batteries. Those should be on a stage going up, not on the stage going down. The batteries overheat. Okay. Now let's get our staging right so that we can see what the situation really is. Fill some tanks. Uh, 
and now we have to rebalance. Now obviously this does not need its full thrust. We might as well limit that. Hmm. Seems like maybe I should opt for a more powerful rocket. Or maybe I should just add some radials onto the bottom stage. Oh, those are huge. Monopropellant engine. Well, tempting, but not really. How big are these? Up, oh, still huge. Huge. Am I looking at this right? Yeah, that's pretty huge. Wow. Oh! Okay, well this is more like uh, the right size. What sort of stats does it have? Okay, that's not bad. Actually, uh, these would be best replaced with that. Oh no, their vacuum ISP is much better. I'll take it back. Let's put six of them on. And increase the size of it. We're still like 2,000 delta V short of orbit. And I'm trying to not use some of the bigger engines. I guess radial mount is the way to go in this case. As unfortunate as these particular rockets might be. Let's change the texture to the one I like to use with them. There we go. And in that case... Well, now the sea level thrust is less. How does that... Oh, because it's on a different stage. Okay. Alright. And so let's make this stage bigger. that much bigger though. Let's increase the size of this one, change this one's thrust to something much higher. Actually we don't need to change its thrust that much. This is going to be quite an eccentric rocket. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, well, let's just go with it and try it out, and then, uh, and then I think I might need to get a wider rocket here. This is how big is this thing? Wow, look at that! Very eccentric. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, incremental increases in this are not helping too much. Well, no, this isn't good enough. I'm gonna have to go wider on this. Uh, Let's see. Unfortunately, once uh, these tanks all have a limit, so well, let's try this wide configuration just once. See how it does. Not wide uh, at all. Okay, well there's 9,500, sort of forcing the issue here. 
And we need to reduce the size of this. Well, let's go, go with 9,300 and see how it works. This is crazy. Um, Skylock 4. Uh, let's get the... Let's put two launch clamps on this baby. Whew, this is going to be nuts. Alright, out to the launch pad. So I think this will definitely be my last uh, flight for this episode. I... Wow, and this is a crazy rock to end off with. Alright, so, uh, and next time, so there's our first three-stage rocket. Hmm. Uh, next time I'll have something uh, even better, hopefully. And I'll have to take a look at uh, how people actually get through this realistic progression light tech tree. Otherwise, I'll never get to the Saturn V rocket. Alright, so throttle is up, SAS is on, and... Let's hope I did everything right. Oh! No, I didn't. How does that work out? Alright, let's go back to VAB and find out. Oh, oh! I encountered a fuel issue. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, okay. Alright, let's go to VAB. Yeah, so of course these require totally different fuel. Now that's gonna be tricky. Oh, okay, I, I think I know how to do this. So, let's remove all... Uh, well, let's see, how long was it supposed to burn for? 2 minutes and 26 seconds? Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. Now it's not gonna burn for anything. Let's see how much I need to put in for two minutes of liquid f uh, a UDMH and N204. This would probably never be done in real life. I don't think they'd mix two different... Uh, <laughs> this is this is bad, of course. Why does it even show anything on this stage? I don't know why I have any Delta V. Okay, so let's say... Let's say half of it. That'll be intuitively something that makes sense. 35 seconds. You know, by that time, this rocket should be able to figure things out. In other words, uh, by that time, the thrust of this rocket will be enough to carry them, and those can be unlit. Um, yeah, let's see. So let's change the capacity of these to what they have. And then add the uh, liquid fuel and oxidizer again. Well, it's not all that great, but it um, claims 9,400 meters per second. I don't know if we'll have the kind of time that we need to actually use all that because it takes 10 minutes for this stage to burn. Oh, yeah. Not the most likely situation to have any success. Alright, but at least we're properly fueled this time, hopefully. Let's go out to launch pad and try it out. Oh, we've got on the on the right track here for time warp. Oh good, good, good. Okay, so let's time warp to daylight here. Yay, oh. Oh, I forgot time warp is so much quicker in this uh with realism overhaul. So I have to be very careful about time warping. Okay. Alright. Oh, wow, our rocket just jiggled like crazy. F3 says it's still alright. I somehow don't believe F3, but... Alright, let's get rid of all these other stats and mech jeb and... Oh, actually that little pro part at the top has the full mech jeb, huh? Alright, this thing is twitchy like crazy. I don't think... I don't think we're gonna survive. Uh, well, anyway, SAS is on, throttle is up, and that is 
so twitchy. This is not going to work very well. But anyway. Wow. Wow. Come on, baby. Come on. Up, 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 up. Overheating. Oh. As if we don't have any other worries. Okay. Overheating. Fine. Uh, we are losing speed quickly. Uh, my calculations did not work very well. Hmm. Need more boosters. Well, this stage will get us going, but uh, we're not getting into orbit, I don't think. It's difficult to control because the prograde vector has already descended so far. Okay, let's try and match our prograde vector as much as possible. Aerodynamics is not working out for me here. Uh, you can sort of see what I'm doing with my control stick looking at the roll yaw and pitch on the side. Eek. And it is prob probably useless because next stage does not have much thrust. It really needed to get much higher than this before proceeding on to the next stage. Yep, as you can see, it's 5,700 delta V, but it's not going anywhere. So I'm just going to shut it off and recover. Well, I don't know, it's probably pretty heavy. So I'm going to slow it down. Let's see if we can't flip over. Well, I guess we don't... Well, let's see. But yeah, our first attempt to get into orbit is unsuccessful. We should try a wider rocket. So no more of this uh, 0.625 stuff, I think. Oh no, it's going nose first.
Well, this is where the aerodynamic efficiency sort of uh, hurts because it's not slowing down much. It's uh, basically a dart, a javelin. Well, let's try and correct that. Oh, the G-force is barely... Uh, of course, that's why I was waiting to pop the chutes, because I knew the G-forces would be killer. But uh, they barely managed to... helping it's too heavy let's see once the chutes fully open maybe we can burn some more of it off but okay Oh, we have no connection. We can't uh, light the rockets. Haha. <laughs> oh, I should have uh, opened that other one while I could. I didn't think we were that far away from the... Well, it's because of the line of sight, right? It's actually because... I think it's because the curvature of the world is preventing us from connect. We're definitely within the range of the, of the one that's automatically open, but... Uh, where is it? Ah, here we go. Yeah, we're definitely within 5,000 kilometers, but but the curvature of the world prevents it from uh, from really. Ooh, ow. Oh well, uh, counts the vessel as destroyed. Our probe part fell off, and it's still wiggling on there. Well, I think this is definitely the time to call it a day. Um, we had our first... wow, come on. Alright, we had our first failure, and so... I wouldn't say first failure, we had that abort on the launch pad kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, anyway. We had uh, our first attempt at uh, orbital flight that didn't quite work out, so... So, tune in next time to see what I managed to do after this. I'll continue ro making rockets in a similar vein, trying to... Uh, Wow, what is it doing? Oh, physics. You're so funny. Alright, so, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please do press like so that uh, I know that you want more Realism Overhaul stuff. If you uh, have any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. Especially how I could possibly get through this tech tree the way it is. I'm not too sure I know. But uh, beyond that, uh, see you next time.